clean speed is, is one of the um, great members of our automotive community here at Stanford, who we also had at the event two years ago. We got Dante, the CEO of Clean Speed, and we got Tim, the CTO and founder of Clean Speed. And last time we had a great race car and everything. And what are you bringing us today? So what we're bringing you today is a commercial expression of the electric vehicle technology we developed in our race car, in our award-winning race car. So there's a lot of things to learn on the racetrack, and it all transfers directly to the commercial sector. And this is it we see today. So our vision is to develop an electric vehicle that is exciting, sustainable, and passionate. We are targeting younger individuals and buyers that are excited about the, the performance and, and sustainability. So there are four things going on here. They are energy, propulsion, integration, and mobility. So let's spend just a quick second to talk about those little four things. So energy has to do with a battery pack. So we've developed a smart battery pack. It is smart because it can intelligently interact with you, its environment, and other smart batteries around. So if you can take this to another level, what you see is capable of is a smart energy network, which is a building block to the smart grid. There's a lot of talk about the smart grid, but who's developing the enabling technology? Propulsion has to do with an electric motor, gearbox and a motor control to integrate into a single unit. You'll see that in the rear. This is a real wheel drive vehicle. Integration allows us to address the environment our systems operate in, uh, which is the way that you attach everything to the car. You have to make sure when you put an electric vehicle into this, into the, I mean, electric system into a vehicle that it handles properly. Low center of gravity, even weight distribution is all very, very important. And mobility, of course, is the expression of these core competencies in a beautiful little exciting vehicle. Sounds pretty exciting to me, and uh, when I visited you guys a few weeks ago, we, we talked actually quite a bit about the first beat in your race car, and then the IATA that I got to drive, I think about two years ago as well, and, and now we see this beat. So, so tell us a little bit about the story from the race car and, and, and something in between. And uh, are you planning on shipping vehicles? Do you want to go in the vehicle production space, or are you obviously have a very strong foot in the door of the battery management system. So, Sven, you introduced me as the CTO. I wish I was. <laughs> Sorry, the CTO. I, I wish I'm the CEO. <laughs> no, I don't think so. This is a CTO day. So, so for the race car, um, well, what we, what we do is we use great mass aims, and, and everything we have is a research platform. And, uh, you know, we're not a race car company or a car company. We're an R&D company, and we develop really exotic Battery, smart batteries, as Dante said, and battery management systems and platforms. We integrate them into platforms and they go very fast and they perform. So that's what that's kind of what we're all about. And uh, race car will be down at Laguna Seca for the fourth year. We hope to set up the fourth record, win the fourth overall at Laguna Seca July 1st. We'll be down at Laguna Seca. So they'll come down. There'll be a lot of electric cars there. It's all electric cars. It'll be about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, as far as this car, uh, I call it Clean Speed World Car. It was designed to be sold all over the world, not just not the United States. This car, the way Dante and the engineering team, who are all here basically, um, the way they deliver this car is we have a 40 kilowatt hour battery, and uh, that will power the car for 160, 175 miles. And so we don't believe an electric car should go anything less than 150 miles. And uh, this will be light, it will go zero to 60 in six seconds. It's going to be the car when you drive it, you're going to want to own it. and. Uh, and can be sold all over the world as a two plus two, or a two, or even a four. The platform that we've designed, every, the only thing that we didn't design is the body. The only thing we didn't make is the body and the seats. Everything else was made by the steering and the dash. Everything else was made by Clean Speed. The, the whole uh, platform was designed and built by Clean Speed. The, the suspension was built by Clean Speed. The power system is Clean Speed. And, uh, uh, you know, we're very proud of it. We show it to you today as, the, as an engineering statement. We'll show it to you uh, uh, in a couple of months as the Clean Speed World Car. Sounds great. So obviously the car has not been finalized yet, but uh, we will be able to take a very close look at it later on. And it's not just the powertrain, it's also the suspension, everything that, that you put in there. So obviously that is something where you believe that it's really important to have a completely beef or complete beef concept for not just the power strength, right? Absolutely. You know, one of the key um, one of the key advantages behind this car, what's very, very important is the integration. 
The integration is what yields a well-performing vehicle, a vehicle that is balanced and a joy to drive. So we've paid particular attention to detail. We've combed over every single score inch of the vehicle to ensure that it's going to perform well and to make sure that it handles awesome. If you look at the meats on the vehicle, those are some nice tires. I mean, I know that we should be putting on low roll, low roll, rolling resistance tires, but we're focused on the, on the performance of it. And there's a certain aspect of the race car genetics being in this vehicle as it stands here before you today. Okay, so as far as what we're gonna do, are we gonna go in the car business? You know, we started out that way, but then we, when we built the, when we built the battery management systems and charge systems for the race car, for the other cars, and then when we built this 40 kilowatt hour battery pack, the phone started ringing. People want that pack. I mean, that is the battery pack of the future. It's heated and cool. It's a very, very exciting piece of technology. So we're we're going heavily into the battery business, and uh, the car business will follow as as it as it can follow. I mean, but we we just feel that. You know, for every battery sold in a car, you're going to sell three more in industry and homes and uh, utilities. And so, you know, we feel that you know lithium is replacing oil and gas, and it's going to do it at an increasingly rapid rate. So we, we we think battery business. If there's a frontier like nuclear power, lithium is the frontier. Well, great, great, great statement. So you will put the final body assembly, the panels on it within the next months and then we'll be able to drive it. Absolutely. Great, thanks a lot. Tim, CEO, and Dan, the CTO of Facebook.